Hello guys, in this video we'll quickly have a look at how to set up um, Visual Studio to work with GitLab. I'm logged on to a GitLab instance here, as you can see. Settings. And here you have access tokens. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new access token. I'm just going to say delete me. This could be anything. The name could, um, could be anything. I'm going to give it full access. And then I'm just going to create create personal access token. Now this is your token. There is another feed token down the bottom, so don't get confused with that. Use this token here. I'm just going to copy it. So once you have the token created, you will switch to uh, VS Code. The first thing we want to do is go into extensions and look for GitLab. It's called GitLab Workflow this one the first one just click on install and then it it installs itself and then if you scroll down you can see how how to set it up and whatnot so the setup is here uh, we've already done this if you're using self first aid instance which we are we go to setting we have to set up an extra gitlab instance url we got to set this up as well right so i'm going to switch back control shift p and type gitlab access token so the last option here set gitlab access token i'm just going to go there grab my access token oh it's asking for url url to gitlab instance so i'm just going to put in the url that's the instant uh, that's the instance that i want to go to and then the access tokens copied enter and then that's all set up so once i click on gitlab now i should be able to see the various options I'm going to try to clone repository, provide the URL. So I'm going to grab the clone URL here and put that in. And then it wants me to pick a folder, GitLab, select. And then this, the Git credential manager for Windows should come up. And then I would enter my login, copied my password. Uh, would you like to open the clone repository? Open will open in the same window and there it is when I click on the file well it's just a names file so um, that's a current version of the repository I can click on different branches and I should be able to see all these different branches here um, heaps of them so you could go ahead and create a file create a new commit change files etc this is how you can very easily use VS code with GitLab Thank you, I'll see you in the next one.